Tangona. So this is the 25th anniversary of Emancipation Day being celebrated in Ghana. And um, it's really relevant because, I mean, 25th anniversary is always relevant no matter what you do. It's a, it's a significant uh, number of years. And Ghana was the first African country to celebrate Emancipation Day. Um, and it's really, really important that we continue acknowledging it. And I think that Having some key people here today shows the significance. The community is very happy. I've spoken to a couple of people who said that this day is very important um, to them because it does connect the diaspora with the local Ghanaian community every year when it's celebrated. And then this year being the 25th is really important. For me, I think it's important because as uh, black people, as Africans, I think around the world, we should all acknowledge the significant milestones in our history, the things that are important that bring us together and that if you don't know about something it's your also your opportunity to learn about it as well because there are people in this country who don't know about it and are also still learning and I think because it's the 25th and the president will be here for this celebration I think that it will get international news more so um, in the country as well as outside the country so I think that this is definitely important because I think that enslavement of people is always a bad thing whether it's enslavement of Africans enslavement of other races who may have gone through it in different periods of time I think that the thought of somebody being held captive and tortured is it's terrible it's it's more than just a bad bell it's a it's a terrible atrocity that should have never happened and we work and strive that this never happens again. Uh, when it comes to racism in general, because the root of the enslavement of Africans comes from seeing African people as being beneath you. And so the people from the countries, like from, from Britain, from, from Holland, from, uh, or the Netherlands, from uh, Spain, um, Portugal, like those different countries that went around the world, enslaving people or colonizing people, a lot of it has to do with an element of power of seeing an opportunity to take over, seeing an opportunity to um, use certain means in order to convince people to do things that helps you do uh, your agenda. And so historically speaking, it's something that has affected Africa for centuries uh, because it has spilled over into the mindset and there's systematic things that have resulted from the things that happened in those days. And now we have, you know, an e a global economic system that favors certain countries over most of Africa. So in celebrating Emancipation Day, I think what we're looking for is an opportunity for Ghanaians and Africans overall to take the time to understand the history of what happened because it actually marks the date that enslavement of Africans was abolished in British uh, colonies, British, um, uh, the British Empire at the time. So that date is significant. It's widely celebrated in the Caribbean and now celebrated in Ghana, other parts of Africa. So I think that Marking this day is important in Ghana because it helps Ghanaians also to understand the history because a lot of people choose Ghana as a place that they come, Ghana being a Pan-African country for decades. And there's a lot of people we have here who still don't have an understanding of why people from abroad want to come to Ghana. You have communities of people who say that they would rather go abroad and they don't understand why those people are coming here. So I think celebrations like this is an educational opportunity for them to understand the history and the connection as to why someone feels they need to come back to Africa, why they feel the need to visit the slave forts and dungeons, why they feel the need to acknowledge the enslavement of Africans that did happen, and why once you know it, you can work towards a better future together as a people.